Hello everyone. Happy March. Can you believe it? Two months in a row and I'm producing these videos. I think I have a future. Move over, Mr. Trump. Okay, so what we're gonna talk about today is hospitality and tourism in Austin. This thing called South by Southwest, I think you might have heard of it. It's coming to town in March as it does every year. They're expected uh, 286,000 attendees for South by Southwest this year. That's ridiculous. But what it's doing is it's really putting us on the map globally. Uh, people come, they, they try out South by, uh, maybe they come to launch their company, whether that be a social media company like Twitter or a, uh, a liquor company like Deep Betty Sweet Tea Vodka. Um, and they come and they try it out and they're like, wow, this is pretty awesome. Next thing you know, they move here. Uh, we're going to see another 45,000 people move to Austin uh, the next couple of years as we did this past year. So we have South by Southwest, Austin Sea Limits Music Festival, which is bringing uh, well over 100,000 people to town each year in October. And then uh, something new to us this year is uh, Formula One. We're expecting to see about 150,000 people come to Austin for this event. And it's something that Austin will host for the next 10 years. Uh, this increase in tourism uh, is pushing uh, many different developers to uh, bring hotels to our downtown marketplace. We have a JW Marriott uh, that's going to start construction this year with over a thousand hotel rooms at the corner of 2nd and Congress Avenue. We have a uh, thousand room plus hotel going in uh, at the corner of Red River and Cesar Chavez that Manchester Financial Group is, is doing. We have a Hyatt Place hotel going in uh, at San Jacinto and 3rd Street. Uh, so a lot of really interesting things as far as new, new hotels, uh, new restaurants, uh, a, lot of, a lot of buzz and excitement coming into our, our town. I look forward to uh, bringing you a video again next month. Happy March.